Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. A little bit of a different video today, but something I want to talk about. Now, uh, recently, or over the last few years, some older games have been brought back to life. Now, one of the ones that always comes to mind is Streets of Rage 4. Something that I didn't like straight away, I was always like, no, I prefer Streets of Rage 2. But the more I played it, the more I liked it. And I'd go as far as to say, like... Streets of Rage 4 is one of the best modern beat-em-ups to come out in, in the recent years. And then last year we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, which is a game I thoroughly enjoyed as well. So this is a video having a look at some games that I would like to see modern adaptations of. Now, this was one of my favourite beat-em-ups growing up, Alien Storm. I don't usually pick the female character, I always pick the robot, but every time I cover it in a video, I always pick Scoot the robot. So I was like, let's just change it up a little bit and pick another character. So I'd love to see a beefed up modern adaptation of this, whether it's like pixel graphics or that kind of art style of Streets of Rage 4. Um, Streets of Rage 4 works, why not get some alien alien storm as well uh, so as well as the beat-em-ups uh, i'm not too keen on the first person shooter parts if they bring it in there cool if they don't bring it in in the game i won't necessarily miss it but what i'm interested in is your thoughts what games would you like to see you don't have to have them as the same genre you can like change it up a little bit if you think there'll be an improvement in the game by changing the genre or changing it slightly while hopefully retaining like the kind of original gameplay at least but this game's fantastic if you've not played this play it uh, i really really can't wait for this to come over to like the mister and to, uh, over to fpga it's a great game it's just so much fun i enjoyed this on the mega drive i enjoyed it uh, in the arcade and this is something from time to time that i still play uh, even now on emulation so yeah one game i really want to see as a beat em up is um alien storm now it doesn't have to be a straight out beat em up i also like beat em ups like dragon crown you know where you can kind of level up your character uh, and progress through them or i'm just happy having it as a street Rage 4 just a straightforward arcade style beat em up but yeah definitely let me know what other what games you would like to see uh, a modern a modern release of another beat em up i would so love to see a modern version of and a good one i think they've done like a golden axe game years ago was it called like beast riders or something like that it just looks so bad i remember seeing the reviews and i was like okay let me check this game out i remember picking it up in a shop looking at the box and just putting the case the box back down on the shelf and thinking this game should not have existed but it'll be great to see this like a streets of rage to beat them up it honestly like this was one of my favorite games in the arcade again something that i played on the mega drive and the arcade and i would just love to see a modern adaptation of it you know with the original characters hopefully some more characters and with all the unlockables that Streets of Rage 4 brings us. So yeah, Golden Axe 2 and Alien Storm are definitely two games that I would like to see. So in regard to beat em up guys, what beat em ups did you play? Whether it was a console beat em up, uh, whether it was um, a beat em up you played in the arcade. Now try to avoid games that have licensing issues. Now I'm obviously not the most studied person in games so maybe there are some licensing issues with some of the games that i point out but at least i don't think there are because they belong they kind of belong to a simple company like some of the games i'd love to see more of it for example would be like capcom versus snk2 but from what i understand there's just too many licensing issues so um a beat em up which which ones would you like to see modern versions of let me know in the comments below Okay, so I'm going to show you two games here. The first one being Magic Sword. Now, I would love to see Magic Sword return. I've mentioned it before in my videos. Before I started covering FPGA stuff, I've done like 10 games I would like to see as Metroidvanias. I've just chosen two out of that list, and this is one of them, uh, Magic Sword. I would love to see this as a Metroidvania. It just, it's just so decent. Like, you grab keys, you rescue different warriors, which give you different powers, and that could be the power-ups you get that let you progress. So you could get... you. Could could unlock someone that gives you double jump you could unlock someone that gives you dash uh, the possibilities well there's a lot of possibilities this is a, this is a really really fun game i used to play this a lot in the arcade they used to get so far with one credit the difficulty does ramp up quite quickly after the first level um but yeah this will this would just be awesome to play like I, I would just love to see this as a metroidvania metroidvanias are games that i enjoy quite a lot here you go you've got a hidden chest up top there 
And we always get hidden secrets in Metroidvania games. So do let me know what games, what older games you would like to see return as Metroidvanias. Now, uh, don't I'm not crazy um, coming with, with this kind of thought because Strider, Strider came back as a Metroidvania and that was thoroughly enjoyable. A game I'd like, love to see come back in any form. I'd love it as a Metroidvania, if not just as an action game. Now, I've been covering Rastan a little bit more than usual recently, probably because it got released on the Analog Pocket like a week or two ago by Hotego. So I started playing it again. And someone in the comments of that video mentioned they love uh, Rastan, but man, is it difficult. And that just nails it. Those are my thoughts exactly. It's difficult, but I love it. I played it in the arcade. I've got a lot of nostalgia for it. And I would love this to come back as a Metroidvania, man. Like, like the game is just it's just badass man it's just such a great game uh, so let me know in the comments what games you'd like to see come back as metroidvanias i'm interested like what game would you like to see what which game would you like to do exploration in and it will just give you that nostalgic kick like um the two for me are definitely magic sword and rastan let me know what your two your three or one game is that you really want to see come back as a metroidvania Guys, who doesn't like Metal Slug? The first time I played it, I absolutely loved it. And this was just a brilliant game in the arcade. In fact, I used to even enjoy watching people play this in the arcade and just 1cc this. For anyone that doesn't know what 1cc is, one coin clear. You use one coin to clear the game. Uh, I would love to see this return as a modern game, but with a little bit of a twist. If anyone played a game called Mercenary Kings, I enjoyed Mercenary Kings, but I think there was a lot wrong with Mercenary Kings. It got a lot of stuff right, but it got a lot of stuff wrong. And Mercenary Kings best described was it had the grinding, um, the grinding in it and the crafting similar to what you have in like Monster Hunter. And Monster Hunter is one of my favorite games. I played a lot of Monster Hunter World recently. Not so much into Rise. I feel like Rise is a step backwards. But anyway, going back on Metal Slug, I'd love to see a Metal Slug game where you kind of do the missions, you repeat some of the missions, you get components, you get stronger weapons. So we get our 2D action, but we've just got so much purpose in the game rather than just doing a straight run through i know a lot of people may not agree with that and you might only like this as an arcade game but i would love to have this with a little more depth like i really enjoyed mercenary kings and that really put like the potential of games like this in perspective for me i played it a lot on the ps vita i remember like taking my ps vita to work and actually playing against my friends who were playing on the playstation 4 and we had the blast doing it there was a lot of stuff wrong with mercenary kings like for example the levels were just massive the boss would run around the whole level you'd have to chase it around and do all this crazy stuff but it was still a lot of fun and i, I really hope mercenary King kings get gets a sequel but i'd love to see a metal slug adaptation of, uh, a, of that kind of genre. Another one of my childhood favorites, Contra. This is one of the games that in the early days of the Super Nintendo, when I saw this, I was like, wow, this is amazing. I can't believe how good gaming has become. I never finished this as a kid, and this is something I want to finish with cheese. I generally don't use cheese, but I feel after years and years of playing it, I deserve to see the ending. And I used to be able to get to the, like, the final stage, but man, it was just tough. One shot, you're dead. Um, again, I would love to see this return, not like a, I know, I know Konami, like released this it was some 3d one what was it called like contra rogue or it was just terrible i remember it being on sale on like the eShop for like i think like one pound or one pound 99 it was very very cheap but honestly even then it just wasn't worth buying it was like some 3d rubbish and just a disappointment so i would like to see this come back uh as like a mercenary kings type of game you know one where we've we've got we kind of grind we get weapons we go through it i again um i know many of you may not agree with that i just like some some of uh, my older games coming back and when it's more than releases it's nice to get a little twist on them so they retain the original value and you've just got more depth in there so that's contra uh coming back with uh with kind of like grind uh grind and crafty mechanics uh will be interesting to see but guys that's it for uh, my games i've kind of chosen six games here some beat em ups um some kind of walking along uh, platformy beat em ups and a couple of shooters that i'd like to see i'd like to see them come back as well beat em ups uh, i'd like to uh, i'd like to see them come back as metroidvanias and um the final ones as kind of grindy games guys 
your imagination is your limit. Name any games, name how you would like to see them back. It could be a different genre, there could be like an extension of the genre. But let me know your favourite games uh, that, that have kind of been forgotten, I haven't been around for a while, and the ones that you'd like to see. But that's it really for this video, guys. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscription and a like, all that good stuff, super appreciated. I'll see you guys around in the next video. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.